Yeah, I mean, the re relationship as, with the receivers as a whole is really good. Obviously, this, this summer was huge for us. Um, I remember talking back in the spring how big it was going to be. I think it really paid off with all the work that we put in and uh, through fall camp. And obviously, Dre had a really good game tonight, and so did a lot of other receivers. So, um, yeah, I mean, and Curtis just a credit to all the work that we put in throughout the summer. Curtis, talk about all the work that you've been putting in. How rewarding is it for you to have performance like that? Yeah, I mean, it's really rewarding. I mean, as a quarterback, the only stats I really care about, care about are the wins at the end of the day. And uh, to, to be the team like West Virginia at home in a great environment is definitely really cool, especially being the first step. Can you take us through the first touchdown? <laughs> Can you take us through that? And then what did it mean to get that kind of, not, not out of the way, but to, to have that under your belt early in the game? Yeah, uh, West Virginia called a really good coverage against the player that we had on. And um, I was just trying to step up in the pocket looking to run and then I saw Dre cut the safety's face across the across the, the field and um, you know I just just stepped up and threw it um, obviously it was really really good for us as a whole offense to get up get off to a fast start that's one of our points of emphasis throughout the weeks fast start uh, getting points on the board with our first drive uh, specifically touchdowns but um, it didn't matter if it was a, pa or a, ta a passing touchdown or a running rushing touchdown or it just matters that we got that touchdown to start the game. Drew was that the most and so how did you get through? No, I, I didn't have any nerves. Uh, I, I don't really get nervous to play games. I get more anxious uh, because it's a credit to the coaching staff, really, and the whole team. Uh, but we really prepare uh, with everything we have. Uh, we don't leave any stone unturned. And, uh, that, that just leads to the confidence for the whole team. And, uh, yeah, so I get more anxious just to play games. Drew, was that the most cover zero you faced in a game? And was that pressure, the constant pressure that they were sending you, how do you feel like you handled it? Yeah, I think we did a good job uh, with quarterbacks and offensive line just communicating protections uh, really well tonight. And the backs did a great job of picking up the guys that maybe we missed uh, in the protection call or we slid the protection the wrong way. So they did a great job. Um, yeah, I mean, it was definitely a decent amount of pressures, uh, a little bit different from what we saw on film. And obviously that's... That's how it's going to be the first game of the season, and every week there's going to be something that we didn't prepare for that the, the opposing defense puts in. And um, I think we did a, just a really good job of sticking to our base rules and communicating it on the sideline. What exactly did James need me the starter in that conversation? Uh, I mean, I don't know if there was like one true conversation. Uh, honestly, throughout fall camp, we we really just focus on the quarterback room, just doing as much as we can to be as efficient as possible and as explosive as possible, and uh, obviously taking care of the ball because uh, we have to win a turnover battle and an ex explosive play battles at the end of the day, and that was just the most important thing. But I mean, I. I don't know if there was one true conversation where it happened. Was it kind of like expected that you were just going to start the game, or did he ever? Like no, I mean, I guess game? like like this past week was more of like when he told me and Coach Yersitz communicated it with me. Uh, so, but there was no like true conversation, I guess. True. What was it like to have Yersitz, Coach Yersitz, up in the box? Yeah, obviously it was different from last year because he was on the field, but I think uh, it's good for our whole offense as a whole um, just because he can really see the defense from up top, whereas on the field it's kind of hard to see the fronts and stuff just because you're on the same level as everybody. And uh, obviously we, we just need there's going to be things to clean up as a whole offense, but um, I thought it went really smooth tonight. Uh, I talked to with him constantly throughout the game with headsets on. And uh, I think our communication was great between the sideline and the box tonight. Your ability to extend plays, you did it on the, with the first touchdown pass, you did it a couple of times rolling to your right and kind of throwing. How, how, how have you developed that already as such a young quarterback? I mean, how much better do you think you can even still get that? Yeah, I think it's something that we can get better at as a whole team. Uh, we always talk about our scramble rules uh, when a quarterback escapes the pocket. Uh, the backside the backside routes or whoever's running away from the quarterback needs to come back downfield if they can uh, because we're always looking to the sideline for the easiest completion right away. And then the guys in the backside of the progression just continue to work into our vision because they know they know my mentality when I escape the pocket. I'm looking to throw downfield just because that's when the bigger plays happen and we extend the plays because coverage usually can't hold up that long. And I think the receivers did a great job tonight of just doing a great job with our scramble rules. Drew, you've done a couple high snaps tonight. Uh, how do you just say yet? Or how do you go about handling that once in the first game without like starting to process up and still be able to get through all your reads? Yeah, I mean, I don't think it really affected me. Uh, it, it's, I mean, it's tough on the center sometimes. The, the high, there was only like one or two, and it's when the center had a difficult block on him. And I mean, not every snap's going to be perfect, but 
and those snaps were bad tonight in my opinion and um, I think just the communication between us the quarterbacks and the O-line was great tonight. You had snaps last year but you got to start today and then prime time happens. So what was the difference in your emotions? Like if you're leading to knowing you're going to start the game even though you had the snaps last year it had to be a different feeling tonight. Uh, I mean a little bit of a different feeling but last year the coaching staff really drilled home and every quarterback to prepare as, this is, prepare as if the starter just because you never know when your name's going to be called so I don't think it was really any different for me emotionally. Uh, maybe a little bit more amped up just because of the type of game we were playing in and the atmosphere I knew it was going to be. But um, I mean, it's a huge shout out to the fans that really showed up and really were loud tonight. How much folk competes with you in the quarterback room? It's cool to see him get out there and get, get in the end zone as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Bo is a tremendous worker. Uh, he works really hard at everything and it was great to see him just get in, in the game and uh, find the end zone. When you hit that touchdown pass on the first possession of your first start, do you exhale and go, wow, <laughs> what's, what's the emotion, what's the reaction? Uh, I mean, no, not really. Uh, I was more uh, relieved that we that we scored a touchdown on our first drive. It didn't really matter if it was a pass or a rushing touchdown. Uh, we always talk about starting fast as an offense because uh, you got to get points up on the board early. You don't want to have slow starts as an offense and be behind the sticks and, or behind the chains. So I think we did a really good job tonight, um, just giving us, giving ourselves the best opportunity to go out and put it in the end zone. If you look at the stat sheet, Drew, your numbers are kind of crazy, but you, know, you come out of a game like that. Are there already things that you're processing that I could have done this or this or this a little bit better? Yeah, for sure. There's a couple ID standpoints from the run game that I could have been cleaner at. Uh, definitely, Can you explain that? Yeah, I mean... Not I, exactly, but what... Uh, it, I just got to... It was just different looks that we didn't really prepare or like hadn't really been prepared for and I hadn't seen in a while that we, I mean, it's simple fixes really. You just yeah. got to point the right guy as the ID, help the O-line out. But um, yeah, I mean, I definitely, there's a couple two minute, two, in the two minute at the end of the half, uh, I stepped up, probably should have just scrambled right away, uh, get as much as I can and get down just because we had no timeouts. Um, just taking care of the ball a little bit better. Dre, Dre saved me at the end of the half, uh, breaking up that interception because I didn't, I didn't put it high in a way like we always talk about in the back of the end zone. So definitely little things to clean up. I mean, nobody's ever played a perfect game in football, so there's always things to improve on. What do you think you 